I, I can't stand Anthony Smith. <laughs> I've been very hard on that man. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I, I haven't been very friendly to Anthony Smith. Here's, here's, uh, here's, I'll give you this. I actually placed a bet on Anthony Smith in this fight. But Anthony Smith should have this fight. He should have it. And what does Anthony Smith do? He goes in there and starts fucking screaming and complaining about this guy doing shit to his family. And just eating leg kicks. And then he goes on Bisbing's or that Believe You Me podcast and he starts crying about, I don't know how to stop leg kicks. Maybe you shouldn't fight anymore. I don't know. Maybe maybe you should hang it up. Am I off? I don't know. I mean, just hang it up. Just you do the podcast thing. Being Goonies too. And then that's it. Thank you. That's all I got to say. That's it. Oh, yeah? Plenty of options. Turtle, salamander, deer, rhinoceros, duck, eagle, owl, bat, dolphin, octopus, fox, chicken, boar, pig, monkey, penguin, panda, elephant, sheep. They just cut you off there. But I would love to know what the rest of the animals are that you wanted to mention. Just as I was coming round to the idea of the MMA holes not being that bad, they have to ruin it with the fucking disgusting visuals and weird fucking chat comments that just people want to talk about animals, mate. It was going so well, I shouldn't have started the video with Moss, to be honest. But um, anyway, welcome to... Delusion. Fill her up. You are listening to the Gas Digital Network. Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. All I wanna do is You are watching the delusion of Anthony Smith. With your host, UFC propaganda cyclops Michael Bisping. Ladies and gentlemen, Lionheart Smith is back on the show. The world is a better place. BYM is by far a better place. You left me. I you left me alone with Harrington and Brian. So, yeah, this is Mike Harrington. He's one of Bisbing's co-hosts on the Believe You Me podcast. If you Google his name, you just see loads of images of fat sacks of shit. And I'm going to show you just an example of the type of person that he is where he nearly has a heart attack because Anthony Smith gets a takedown. I get a takedown there, he's got it. He needs to drive oh. Let go of the leg, Anthony. Get oh, he's down, got it. Anthony. Drive it through. Yes. yes. Gets top position. Nice, well done, nice, 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 work. nice, 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 nice. Nice work. Now, oh. minute 15 left. He took some heavy shots there, though. That was risky. It was kind yes. of like he, it was Paul Craig against uh, Johnny Walker, the exact right. same scenario. Nice, nice work. Now, oh. minute 15 left. Nice, nice work. Now, oh. minute 15 left. And here we have co host number two, or the producer, whatever you want to call him, Brian McGay. And as we can see here, he likes to have his pronouns in his Twitter bio but tries to hide it behind silly, funny jokes. Her funny wordings I like. He also uses the Bisbing podcast clout to get a press pass for Comic-Con. Yay! And then brags about it on his Instagram. Yay! And ah, yes, he is the type of person that has to show that he caught COVID and post an obligatory Look everyone, I have COVID so bad that I'm in hospital. I can prove it, see? See? I clap for the NHS. These are the types of people Michael Bisbing, Anthony Smith have around them. No fucking wonder Bisbing lost a fucking eye and Smith keeps fucking losing. Sorry, I'll carry on. Uh, I mean, the video will carry on now. 
I'm sorry. I did. I'm sorry. She did. She said, yeah, exactly. Never mind what happened at the weekend. Never right. leave me with Harrington <laughs> and Brian ever again. We did a live through the fight. I'm telling Harrington to shut the fuck up because he's coming out with nonsense. You know, he says you're going for triangles when you got him in side control and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't subject me. Never mind what you're going through personally, right. losing a fight. How dare what am I, I do going that? through? How right. dare you think How about me? I. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. The handicapped. When you see someone look at a, 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 a little handicapped and go, oh, look at him. So just give generously to all of them. Look, listen. Look, listen. Um, first thing I want to say to you, and then I'll kick it to you, obviously, because it's your fights, your moment, your experience. I just did a little live earlier talking about some MMA news, and there was a lot of people in the chat all saying, listen. Listen, listen, listen. And I'm sure it's the same in the Believe You Me community as well. Like any time, there's idiots, there's assholes, there's haters, but there's also a lot of people that support you, Anthony. You know, there's a lot of people mm-hmm. that f- were invested in you and they still are and they're on an emotional journey with you. So, yeah, yeah, we get it, Bisbee. But is it okay if you let Anthony Smith get a fucking word in edgeways? You absolute fucking UFC propaganda cyclops. With that said, um, give me your thoughts on what went down Saturday night. Yeah, you know, I and I, I well, first of all, I, 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 you know, I and I, I well, first of all, I, I, I you know, I and I, I well, first of all, I, I I feel the love too. It's probably the most hate that I've got. Focus on Anthony Smith. Yeah, fuck Anthony Smith, dude. Who's with me, chat? I think Anthony Smith actually is delusional. Well, forget him. What a nerd. Lol. lol. All I wanna do is and listen to the guru. <laughs> I'm gonna get roasted online for this. Who wants to like find out where Anthony Smith is in America and go go meet him, surround him, and do this? All I wanna do is spell Little Fortnite dance. Ooh. Impression of Anthony Smith getting beat to death in a home invasion. <laughs> You're attacking my family. I'm not attacking your family, Anthony Smith. Shut up, please. No one's attacking your family, dude. You victim pussy. I'm sick of you. I really think Anthony Smith is uh, pretty much delusional. <laughs> On paper, I'd live through this. John Jones isn't even that good. He's not that good. He's pretty fucking good. <laughs> and he dies. It's probably the most hate that I've got, probably ever. You know, it's the, you need to retire, you're trash, you suck, you don't belong, like, whatever. Um, first of all, I'm first of all, I'm first of all, I'm not retiring. It's not happening. Good. Not not like that, that's for sure. I'm not going out like that. Um, and why would you? Yeah, listen, I'm, it's, it's, I'm still... I'm. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, oh, it's not, 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 yeah, listen, I'm, it's, it's, I'm still, I'm, uh, that, 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 I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, you, 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 I, I'm, I'm still, I'm, that, 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 you, um, you, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm, glad you, you, you could, you do, that, 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 I, I'm, I'm still, I'm, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, I'm, it's, it's, I'm still, I'm, that, 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 uh, you do, that, 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 you know how it is. You've had fifth, you've had a fifth grade girl. What is with a bunch right. of fifth grade girls? You do a lot of help with the breeding programs and stuff like that. Me and the baby are absolutely smashing. She is she is double fisting. I, I don't know what it is about fifth grade. Something happens in fifth grade, and they just they're all absolutely smashing. Because I'm over you a trip to Thailand. I'm telling you, know, you, mate, you know, I was I was laying There's no better place night. on earth for that stuff. I'm telling you right now. Like how old's fifth grade again? It's 11. a different system. 11, yeah, like no, 11. She said she was 12. Thanks for this. That's We're so my so holiday. Absolute. Imagine like... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Literally leaving your kids with Anthony Smith. <laughs>
he's a nice guy, but just based on looking at him, not trusting him. <laughs> My kids have come home with like bruising all over them. Why are you attacking my family? <laughs> Beating up the kids. Uh, Anthony, uh, Mr. Smith. <laughs> he tries to go back to his teaching career. <laughs> Mr. Smith, do you like my drawing of a dog? Why are you attacking my family? <laughs> uh, is, uh, calling all forces. We need uh, immediate attention to Mr. Smith's class on the second floor. Uh, thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, do you know? Yeah. Um, Mr. Smith, um, do you like my drawing? Do you know my name yet? Do you know my name yet? Desanya. I still have it. it. It's there's some problems that I got to fix for sure, but um, I don't know how to stop leg kicks. It, it, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't fight anymore. It, it's definitely not going to happen like that. It's not going to be on a whim. My. It's not the first time I've taken my gloves off in the cage before. I, I've, it's very documented. I've had lots of hand injuries. The gloves and the hand wraps bother me. You know, it's just... I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with, what the fuck is that on your wrist, Bisbing? I'm about to be sick. Please take it off the fucking screen. I'm trying to make a video. They they cramp my hands. They they they're tight. You do you can you. They they hold them open. It's not. It it's just they bother my hands. So that's exactly what I said on the live because Anthony and Brown were always taking his gloves off, and I said, yeah. I want to say you should fucking retire, but I'm his fucking friend, so I fucking can't. You fucking con. I said, but the thing is, when you've just been through a tough fight, sometimes your hands are wrapped so tight and they get extremely hot. My balls were hot. Yeah. And a lot of the time, the first thing I ever wanted to do was to take my gloves off. Just get these goddamn gloves get, off. And they're brand new. That's the pro They're brand new. Like, yeah. it takes, like, when you get a new pair of boxing gloves, how long does it take before they're comfortable? Yeah. It's, it could yeah. be a month, you know? And, like, you'll wear them for the first couple of rounds and then you got to put your old ones back on because like it takes a while to get that break in process. Every single time you fight, you get brand new gloves. So it sucks. So when it, first of all, that's, I want to get that out there right away. Um, Maybe you shouldn't fight anymore. Not, re not, re not retired. Um, I felt, I, I don't have no excuses. Oh really dude. <laughs> I had an in incredible training camp. I, 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 I left no stone unturned. I, I, I didn't cut any corners. I, I put all the work in. Uh, I was in great shape. I felt good. I was uninjured. Um, but there is a glaring hole in my game. I got hairy legs, and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. Because I learned about kids jumping on my lap, and I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And it's no longer which, a hole. Which is, I mean, because I, I never saw a glaring hole. Oh, really, dude? But please. It's educate. the leg kicks. It's the leg kicks. I don't have no excuses. <sighs> uh, it, it's... Uh, it, right. it's uh, it, right. it's it's become a liability at this point it's not even a hole in my game anymore it's a liability I, i'd love to see the numbers and see how many leg kicks i've absorbed in my ufc career it's got to be in the thousands and at this point checking them isn't even good enough because i checked a good number of those kicks and it was got to the point where the checking didn't even matter it hurt worse to check it than to just lift it and take it so I think over time, um, I've taking, taken so many that my body's just not – like my leg isn't just taking them as well as it used to. Um, we've addressed it over and uh, we've changed my stance. We've changed my movement. We've changed the block. We've changed, changed the defense. We've, I do it in practice. And for whatever reason, uh, we get into the fights and I, I, can't, I can't do it in the fight. I don't know why. Um, you know, uh, um, Andrew Sanchez destroyed my leg with leg kicks. John Jones destroyed my leg with leg kicks. Volkan Ozdemir destroyed my leg with leg kicks. Hector Lombard, uh, even Alexander Gustafson a little bit. Um, Alexander Rakic put me down with two. Um, it, it's That's just right, a yeah. it's it's a liability. I, I can't take them. I don't have no excuses. And Johnny Walker had an incredible game plan. Stay on the outside. Stay really composed. Don't engage in the boxing, and pick at his leg until he can't move. And then that once you take away my movement. I'm I'm just a sitting duck. Ooh. You know, I, I I my whole game is kind of based not that I do a bunch of big flashy 
incredibly athletic movements, but my movement is one of the biggest parts of my game. It's how I ease my way into distance. It's how I ease my way just outside of range. It's the slight, real subtle angles. Like if I can't do those and I can't do them on my timing, it changes my whole game. Um, if you do, and if you do that and you don't, and you don't engage in the boxing offensively, he had incredible counters. Um, but if you don't offensively do that and I'm forced to come to you, then I'm just wading into your kicking range and then I'm just taking bombs from the outside. So again, credit to, I have no excuses, but credit to Johnny and his team. He, uh, he, he really stuck to a game plan. He was more composed than he's ever been. Are you sure about that? Um, he was fast. He didn't let me bait him into any bullshit. I don't have no excuses. Um, like he was hard to get to, especially after I was compromised. I don't have no excuses. Um, but that's, he took advantage of me and, and that that's exactly what he's supposed to do. And that's exactly what I would have done to him if I could have. Um, but that, I mean, that's, it's, he was just better there and I don't have any excuses for it. He was just better. And Holy fuck! it's frustrating, you know, like I put so much effort into this. So like, I've never really cared about the the trolls and the online people talking shit. Sup, nigga? You want to talk some shit? Never really bothered me before, but I'm like real angry about it now. Look at these two complete A's. Like I was like, it was everything I could do to like not come at the media and freak out on every single like, because I haven't done anything to anybody. If you give him enough rope, he'll hang himself. He said that he gets the impression you kind of hate him. He says he's watched some of your shows and he gets the impression that you're just not a big fan. Sounds like that's his problem. <gasps> oh my God, <laughs> this is really happening. So like why people feel like, like it was just, it's just where we are today in, in society, but like people are so comfortable just shitting on someone that they don't know. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a good dude. Like I take care of my family. I, People who say they are a good person are usually a terrible person. I help the people around me. I'm, I'm nice. I, you know, like I tip really well. <laughs> like, I do all the things right. You know what I mean? And I put in all the effort. I, I sacrifice. I run myself into car accidents every single day. Maybe you should run yourself into something a little fucking heavier and take a leaf out of Matt Hughes's book. And like on those bad, like it wasn't my night, you know, like he did a great job and, and he was better. He took advantage of, 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 of a hole in my game and he did it better than I could. And that's the game. But like, you know, I just, I just can't believe the the way that people are talking about me. You know, it's, it's just, that sounds like a you problem, mate. It's insane. It makes you really jaded. Like makes you really jaded. Like, why am I so cool to the fans? Like, and then I got to remember, like, I'm only seeing the I'm, I'm, I'm only focusing on the negative because then when I think like, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed this about the Bisping podcast, but every now and again, he has to have a reset by sloshing his brain around his fucking CTE school. How, I'm getting way more positive than negative. It's just the negative. The negativity is louder. Um, so I'm, it's I'm always a, a vocal minority. Vocal minority. Uh, no, nah, it's not. It's people seeing Smith being a bad competitor, acting the fool and whinging and coping why he looks so fucking bad. The internet never hides its feelings and you should both just fucking own it. It is. It is. They're so loud. And so then, you you know, you got to keep reminding yourself like it's, it's at the end of the day, man, this isn't the this wasn't the end of the world. Like it's Correct. it was it was pretty bad. Like it was a pretty bad spot yesterday. I'm a little bit better today, but like. I just wanted to win so bad and I try so fucking hard. Like that's that's the problem. Like I just try so hard. I I oh, hold up chat actually. He he he's just said that he tries so hard so everyone just back off. No more mean comments. He tr he tries at the end of the day. At least he tries because then now we can't leave criticism anymore because he tries. He's just admitted it. Fucking Smith. I was throwing to the end, and, but even though I was hurt, you know, like how many people are standing in front of Johnny Walker at range and staying conscious? You know what I mean? Not many, not many. That's for sure. And I was hurt early. Then I got overextended. Like I was hurt. I, my leg was compromised in the first two minutes.
And, you know, then I got caught throwing a overhand, like overextending. He clipped me with something. I got the takedown. It was like, you know, I don't know. It is, it is what it is, man. Like, uh, again, like last time, but like, congratulations to Johnny and his team. They did a great job, but, um, you know, what do you do? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should hang it up. Am I off? What do you do today about it? <laughs> well, well, what will you do exactly what you're doing right now, which is be a man. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> you hold your hand up, you be honest, mm -hmm. and you say, do you know what? The better man won on the night. He did. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, I've been, I've been thinking. Well, that's not something we're all used to, eh? Michael Bisping thinking. Who'd have, th who'd have, th who'd have thunk it? <laughs> It's funny, one of those funny things. About what to say to you. I worry about your commitment to fighting, not your commitment to training. I think you have one foot out the door. I don't feel like that. Like, I don't feel like that. Like, I, I absolutely have something I got to fix. Like, I don't, even, I don't even know how to fix it right now. You can't do this forever. You know, and I think that's a very dangerous place to be in fighting. There's shit that other people can do that you can't do. I don't, I don't know if I agree with Don't you consider right? yourself a fairly decent striker, right? You consider yourself a fairly decent striker, yeah. right? How good do you think, you know, like your punches are in comparison to like an elite high-level kickboxer, like a Joe Schilling or, you know, or a Melvin Manhoof or someone who has real fluidity and mechanical efficiency to the way they move and punch and kick? The, I mean, the new rankings yourself, came out. I'm still in the top 10. You know, you, you it's not like you don't have good qualities, but... If you had a wrestling match with Cain Velasquez, how well do you think you'd do? Straight up wrestling? Yeah. I think people would be surprised. Really? Mm -hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. I think you'd be surprised. Mm. I really do. I think he'd fuck you up. It doesn't really require too much thought, to be honest, but you identified the leg kicks there, and you were right because when the fight started, you were – Ex you were standing in, in like a Muay Thai stance, but the, the front, the lead leg wasn't even bouncing up and down. It, it was held for like sometimes for two or three seconds in the air. Right. So, so it is like you were always so focused on defending leg kicks. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, and then on the live or when I talked about it to someone else, people were saying, well, what do you think Anthony did wrong? And I was like, well, I don't think it was so much what you did wrong. It's what Johnny did very well. Yeah. You know, we have to give the man credit. I mean, because I remember there was one point in the fight, he hit you with a succession of three leg kicks in a row with the same leg kick in bam, 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 real fast succession. Bam, bam, bam. Are you sure about that? Real fast succession. That's not easy to do. Do you no. know what I'm saying? It's not it, normal. It, it's not normal. And the man's a freak athlete. And it sounds like I'm just sitting here now and saying this, trying to make you feel better. Johnny Walker's a beast. He's mm -hmm. a physical specimen. We know that. He's a bit of a weirdo. He's a bit of a weird character. He's a nice guy. Uh, but he's, he's a freak athlete, you know, yeah. and he is getting better. And he's gigantic for the weight class. And again, it sounds like I'm making excuses. But these no, I mean, I had facts. problems with it. I, I, had, the, the, I had problems with the size. He's big. He's really the, 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 these are just facts, though. He's big and he's a monster and he's getting better. And the reality is, and, and I truly do mean this, I'm not saying it to try and make you feel better. On his night, Johnny Walker's capable of beating any man on planet Earth in that weight class. He really is. You know he what is. I mean? And, and I always had, I always had some kind of concerns with this matchup because mm -hmm. he's he, when he burst on the scene, he was he was the, the next hot thing. Do you know what I mean? And then he had some shortcomings because he was a little bit spazzy in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he's he's getting better. And he's had some he's cartoonish knockouts. That's that's why he got a lot of flack because he's been he's been hurt and they had like one real boring matchup with Tiago Santos. Yeah. And a kind of a cartoonish knockout from Jamal Hill. Like so then people kind of shit on him. But like I was always hyper focused on him. Mm. Um it's just I'm just heartbroken, you know, because yeah. because like I went in there knowing that I was going to win, you know, and then you don't, you know, just, I, I don't know. And then you got everyone telling you like, you don't have it anymore. You got to retire. And it's like, I don't feel like that. Like, I don't feel like that. Like I got, I absolutely have something I got to fix. Like, I don't even, I don't even know how to fix it right now. Like it's not unfixable. It's not impossible. No, there, there's, you, I, you, you, I don't you, know you, if you, I need to start fighting Southpaw 
for forever. Like maybe I just switched to South Park forever. But I don't know. But, but but listen, here's the good stuff though, Anthony. What you're feeling right now is what you're supposed to be feeling, right? If you give mm-hmm. a damn. If you yeah. give a shit, do you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that go out there and they're happy to be there and they're happy to be in the UFC and they're happy to get the fame and the attention and to make the money and be on TV. And and sometimes when they win or lose, they don't really care because, you know, they had their moment or they're having their moments and they're not too bothered about being a champion. When you're a true competitor, this is how you're supposed to feel, you know? So, so it's yeah. a good sign. And, you know, um, there was people, there's a lot of comments, oh, you should retire, you should hang it up and all the rest of it. And it's like, hold on, on that, just just stop. Think about this. Should Gilbert Burns retire? Has anyone said that? Should Gil- Gilbert Burns just lost right. to Bilal Muhammad? I'm not taking away from Bilal, but he lost. Should he retire? No, he's fine at the highest level. Um, who else just lost? There's another one. Uh, just had a, a bad loss recently. My God, I had it all in my head. I had a blind out by that. I had a blind killer blacks. Kilal Blacks, loads of fighters lined up. I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. But when just because a fighter loses a fight doesn't mean that's now time to hang everything up. Smith got smashed by Jones, smashed by Glover. Smashed by Ankoliev, smashed by Walker, all very recent fights. He can't take leg kicks and he copes hard after every single fucking loss. The internet are asking valid questions. You fuck! The, the you new rankings yourself. came out, I'm still in the top 10. You, well, exactly. Like, you're still in the top 10. You're 34 like, years old. On, you you, you recognise you made some mistakes and you yeah. recognise that Johnny Walker was the better man on the night. You did recognise Corelli because I, I mean, yeah, the, the leg kick thing is... Oh, is, he's self-soothing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You, you, need to, you need to handle that. But that's good because if you go out there and you're like, I did everything perfect and I still couldn't beat him, that's not the end of the world. But you're sitting there saying, listen, the leg kick thing was in your mind. You were so focused on that. You were standing on one leg for the majority of time. And Johnny Walker was good, right? Mm -hmm. It's when you give up on yourself. Cheeto Vera, sorry, that's who I was going to say. Look at Marlon Cheeto Vera. No one's asking, no one's saying he should retire. Before Vera's recent loss, he was on a four-fight win streak. He's got exciting fights, finishes most of his wins, and he's game as fuck. That's why no one's screaming about fucking retirement. You absolute spastic slapstick comedy duo. Marlon's a good friend of mine. Oh, friend! And mm-hmm. I have so much respect for him. He had a bad night at the office against Corey yeah. Sandhagen. Right? He knows that. The whole bloody world knows that. And he's not making any excuses either. You. He's just like, no, I got to get better. Cheeto, Gilbert Burns, the UFC, the top talent. When two men or women step into a sporting endeavor, when it's one-on-one, 50% of those people go home a loser and 50 go home the winner. And right. that's the hard part because it's the thrill and the agony, as the UFC say. You got mm-hmm. Johnny Walker, he's breakdancing in bloody Charlotte. He's enjoying himself. He's having a good time. And you on the other side feel like bloody throwing yourself off the off the end of a cliff. Jesus fucking Christ, Bisping, you need to put a trigger warning if you're going to meme Anthony Smith into committing fucking suicide, mate. <laughs> right. Because it's like, momentarily, it's like your world's collapsed. But the right, world, the, the collapsed. world just fell on your head. That's how it feels. You had a bad night at the office. And, Today and, and, is the first day where I woke up like, okay, all right. You got to you gotta stop feeling sorry for yourself. Like, you got to stop. Well, look, you got to stop. We got to, we got to figure it now. And, I'm, and then you got to start making calls. All right. How do I fix this now? now? You can't fucking fix weakness. You stupid fuck. And like, all right, what's the game plan? How do we fix it? How, all these problems. How do I fix it? Who's next? Okay. When are we going to go? How long do we have? Who, 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 who do we want to fight? And then it's, I talked to Eric Nixick today. And then I talked to Tyrone Spong. And then I talked to Mark. And it's like, just get up. Give me all the information. Like, let's get all the best brains in the in the entire sport. If you guys can't all fix it together collectively, then it can't be fixed. If you guys take some accountability from your UFC performances and stop looking outside at others to fix your problems, you're baldy fuck. But yeah. I'm not quitting. Until someone says it's unfixable, I'm not fucking giving up. It's unfixable. It's unfixable. It's unfixable. It's unfixable. It's unfixable. There you go.
Someone said it. Off you pop. Go on. Onto the sped desk. The reject desk. The pity party desk. With fucking Chazir and the weird looking black lady. No one ever could fucking tell you her name. And I'm damn sure not retiring like that. Why? You're not going to see me tucking my tail and crawling out of there and getting mad. Oh, I lost. And, and then just throwing my gloves down. And then just, just to take it back two months from now and say, oh, I was just mad about it. Mate, what the fuck are you talking about? You did every single one of these things on the very next time you got to publicly speak. You've been angry. You've seethed. You've coped out your fucking arsehole straight after you're trying to blag us that you ain't going to do any of that. That's fucking bullshit, mate. Are you actually Skinwalker Brendan Sharp? When I retire, it'll be the last time you see me and everyone's going to know before it happens. <laughs> like two thousand, I, I won the belt in 2016. Shut the fuck up, Smith, and let me tell you about me and everything about me. It's time to take a fucking back seat because I'm a self-important fuck. You dumb fuck. 2014, I got choked out by a one-armed guillotine by Luke Rockhold. <laughs> you spastic. Everyone said it was over. Mm -hmm. Tim Kennedy beat me. How Peter old were you beat me. I was 30, 2014, 35. Right. 35. 35 years old. Mm -hmm. um, everyone said I, I was done. Everyone said I was finished. I remember, and I might have said this before, so I apologize if I have. At that press conference, when I fought Luke Rockhold, I remember speaking to a journalist and he said to me on the phone, he said, this is it, right, Mike? This is your last chance. This is your last shot. You've been in these kind of situations before. If you lose this, you're never going to sniff the world championship ever again, right? And I said, no, what are you talking about? If I lose this fight, I'll be devastated. I'll be gutted, but I ain't going to give up. I ain't going to quit. As long as there's still breath in my body and I'm still healthy enough to do it, mm -hmm. I'm still going to keep on trying. Because that's what you have to do. The moment you say to yourself, I can't do this, I can't compete, I'm not good enough, it's okay to say I've got work to do. It's okay right. to say I've got improvements. But if you just decide to just say, you know what, I'm not good enough, that's only when it's over. And that's what I said to Cheeto Vera. And right. I think he posted something similar to those words a couple of days later. It, it ain't over. It's a hard sport. These are the best mixed martial artists on planet Earth right? And you're fighting yeah. for, at the highest level. Sometimes, listen, it's great to be a Conor McGregor when he was on the rise to go out there and destroy everyone. DC, John Jones, I don't know, these people, these truly phenomenally, Rampage Jackson, these insanely talented people that just have an ability to do it. They're just so good. you know, And that's great and people love to see that. But people also love to see the journey of the underdog, the guy that goes along and gets kicked back and gets stopped and, and gets uh, loses fights and it doesn't go his way but they don't give up and they don't right. give up and, and then claw their way to the fucking top because this is who they are and this is what they're fucking built of and i know this is what you're built of no he fucking well isn't but his being it never ceases to amaze me just how unlikable you really are truly are you're so unlikable that your son has to deal with the consequences of your main character syndrome and it's not nice don't, I don't like it. Oh my God, stop it, Benga, stop it. Oh. And a baby boonie. And of course you're sad and you're depressed and you've got a little fucking black eye, but you were always mm. an ugly bastard anyway. <laughs> so who cares? Do you know what I mean? Right. But you've got a beautiful wife. You've got a beautiful family. You've got all your faculties. Right. You can't check a leg kick to save your fucking can't life. Can't check a fucking than, leg kick to save my life. That, <laughs> we're fucking good to go, baby. Come on. So Bisping spent the past however many minutes saying how people shouldn't be mean and just not nice to nasty Smith to people, yet proceeds to roast Smith for being shit. Okay, Bisping, I no idea why Anthony Smith all of a sudden has turned uh, Chinese. <laughs> Well, and I've been I've been saying from the very beginning, it's world champion or die trying. That doesn't mean, oh, it's world champion or die trying unless it sucks. And, you know, like I'm in I'm getting stitched up like I'm getting these stitches in my face and someone uh, some media person comes back and says, hey, the media room wants to know if you're retiring. I wanted to explode. Oh, really? Maybe you should ask Bilal Mohammed for some advice after he's done double leg in the fucking Twin Towers. Yeesh. <laughs> like. Who like here here's what it is. These people that are like pushing that on you and and these trolls on the internet and the people that are talking shit, you know what it is? I make them uncomfortable. 
because they know that they couldn't continue. That's what it comes down to. These people that are are just begging for people's downfall and begging for people to quit when it gets hard and saying, yo, you don't got it anymore. No, you're afraid I don't have it anymore because you know I'm not going to quit. So yeah, it sucks really bad right now. It sucks real fucking bad right now. And I, the, and the I reality this, is, sorry, go on. I, I expected this week to be much. To, if I win that fight, I'm fighting for the world title. <laughs> <laughs> like, I lose and I should retire. No, that's not how this works. Like, people, people look at our sports so much differently. But if you take your favorite basketball team or your favorite football team or or, or name your sport. Like most of your favorite athletes lose more time in one season than I will my entire career. Because they are team sports, you absolute degenerate fool. You absolute pee bondod. So like And it, not making excuses. Are you about to make an excuse, Bisping? <laughs> of course you are. Let's continue. You were coming back from a leg break as well. Right. Well, and I was a little bit uncomfortable in there too. Like it I don't looked know, like I don't that, know. that might have been playing a factor on your mind. Like, I don't know about ring rust, but I will say, and I'm not going to, I'm not making excuses or saying this was it. You and Bisping have been making the same fucking excuses this entire podcast. Do you both have AIDS? Because I would really like to sniff them and smell them and see if they're as stupid as you act like a, when you're human, human being fucking idiot they're saying this was it but i will say that i need to be more active because the the one the one fight a year every th for three years ha has I'm, i've been a very active fighter my whole career so now the last three times i've gone in there i felt like it's very new like it's a it's a new fresh feeling like it's the first time so i'm not mm. i'm not like super familiar in the octagon like and if you want you legit wouldn't be saying anything about ring rust. I don't know how much more of this I can fucking take. I have no idea. The fight week, the whole fight week stuff is unfamiliar to me. The last three times it's, I don't feel like I'm in a, like in a groove. I don't feel like I'm in a, like a, a rhythm. Yes. Because there's now fail compilations out there of you acting like the fucking big man, mean mugging Walker for no reason. And you got massively humbled. I mean, this should be a familiar feeling going forward for you. Get used to being known as the fucking retard or just retire. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Love you. Thanks. Talk to you in the uh, next, uh, still, the next uh, segment. Thank you. And so I, I need to, that's another thing I need to fix. That's nothing on anyone else. That's on me. I need to, I need to stay healthy and I need to be able to get into some sort of rhythm where I'm comfortable and I'm not feeling like this is the first time, you know? So I, I think that's uh, that's some of it for sure. I mean, as far as just how I felt when I was in there, that was the one different thing. It just felt felt new, you know, and, and I don't like that. Going back to the haters, if you will, for one of a better word, what you said, people coming out of the woodwork and talking a bit of crap. What are you, a vegan? What are you, a squirrel? Well, I think those what are, are you, a man? They're no, salty. are you losing to Johnny Walker? You've got a <laughs> diet of sunflower seeds, bro. What is going on? You're not doing what we do, or any sportsman, or anyone, anyone that puts himself in the public eye. There's going to be a certain percentage of society that looks at that and are inspired and that, and, and that take great pleasure and support you. There's also going to be a lot of people that are quick to talk a lot of shit. You got some motherfucking nerds calling me out Shabbat on some little bullshit ass nigga. Better calm that shit down and come around here and show me some fucking respect before me and my Jewish nigga come up here and beat your ass nigga. And talk crap. And sadly, that's just human nature. You know, I lost, I, I kind of lost it a little bit at the end of the life. Someone donated $2 and said, hey, I forget what he said now. Oh, dear. Taliban GB says, I was smashed, him, especially after talk that he did. What do you mean? What do you expect him to say? Why are you going to be a hater? Why are you going to come on here and, and talk crap? Listen, after the talk that he did, of course, you're going to go into a fight confident. I'm assuming you've never stepped into a competitive realm in your life. If you go into something, you have to. You can't go in there expecting to lose. Even fucking Harrington knows Bisbing is being a hypocrite here. That comment wasn't even bad. It was stating facts. But Harrington can never respond. He isn't allowed. Nobody can overrule the propaganda cyclops. And actually, here's an example of their toxic relationship because they should be cancelled feminism for life we love the, the trend the trans thank you we love them Tarantino and brian 
You know, I boys. allow you to be present on the screen. No, so sad. Uh, did Johnny Walker, he let him creep. He let him creep. All right, all right, all right. Come quiet. on. Shut up, Harrington. <laughs> no, man. Fuck. We are at four minutes and four. You go in there hoping to win. You do the work that you're going to win and you have a positive mindset. You don't walk around going, oh, God, this is going to be really tough. This is going to, I don't know if I can do this because that means you're already fucking defeated, Taliban GB. Okay, so have a little look at yourself in the mirror. You shouldn't be celebrating the fact that somebody got beaten in a fight in a pursuit when they fucking put their life, their body and their health on the line for your entertainment. You know, you should say, well, you know, Fair play to Johnny Walker. We have to celebrate that. But you don't kick a man while he's fucking down. Oh, really, dude? Right. You can't check a leg kick to save your fucking can't life. Check it's all right, Harry. Uh, it's not like you did anything at the weekend. I know. So if you want to go fuck off and unsubscribe and take your fucking $2 back, stick it up your fucking ass, you prick. I'm going to have a piss. I'll be right back. Carry yes, on. Sir. Carry yes, on. sir. Carry yes, on. Yes, sir. Oh, best bang on my quarter. Yeah, sorry. You spoke so fucking cool. And oh my god, the baby beanie. Oh. Harrington's looking like Jonah Hill in War Dogs. Thanks Honestly? For your, thanks for the bucks, Knox. It's a, it's, that's a pretty good one. That is my, that's 100% my style that I'm going for. There you go, man. Rough one, dude. Oh my word! Look out below your crunch! <laughs> I said, take that two dollars. I said, shove it up your fucking ass. I said, how dare you come on here? You got a guy going out there who's trying to fight in the toughest spot on planet Earth. It didn't go his way. And you want to kick a man while he's down? It's just the same kind of people that go out there and talk crap, these trolls on like Instagram and comments on Facebook or on Twitter or whatever. It's mm -hmm. like, what is going on? The problem is with them. You're out there, you're competing in the toughest sport on planet Earth, okay? You're fighting at a very, very high level against a freak athlete who's very good, who's getting better all the time that had a tremendous amount of hype and you came up short mm -hmm. okay there is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of you should be really proud of yourself you're giving a great life to your family <laughs> you know you've you, you they're, they're happy you're financially stable you've got your faculty you've got a great brain when the time does come look out below your crunch <laughs> When you hang the gloves up, you've got a huge amount of options that you have. Commentating, ESPN analyst, podcasting, you name it, you can do it all. There's a million things you can do, but right now you're focused on being a fighter and that's what you're putting everything into. And that's why it hurts. And that's why this, seeing the reaction, what you're having is a positive sign. Because if you don't care, then then you don't care and you're not going to get better and you're right. not going to right the wrong. You're not going to fix it. You're not going to fix it. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, well. It still oh, well. sucks, though. Yeah, it, it does. It sucks. It just, losing sucks, and, you know, it is it's what It's part it of is. life, though. It's part of life. and, and for, most, for most people, as I said before, there's this small subset of society. I, I liked how you explained that, too. Some people are just born winners. Yeah, just, no, there is. Like, they, for some people, Jones, I, I, ESP, I hated them. Rashad I hate is one them. of those guys. Me, too. I, I hate one them. Of those guys. Me, too. I, I hate one them. of those guys. Me, too. Going back to the haters, you know, Rampage was a great example. Like, some people yeah. are just born great, and some people are just born, yeah. And the rest of us have to scratch and claw and fight and rob and steal and <laughs> whatever else we got. We're just do human beings. Some to, people are just people. supremely talented out. at whatever sport it is that they decide to do, whether it be football. I'm talking about soccer, but American football, throwing mm -hmm. a ball, javelin, athletics, running. Some people are just born for that right. shit. And other people... Oh, go on, Bisbee. You're so close to telling him the fucking truth. Is he going to do it? Let's find out. That kind of life might choose them. And we love it and we're good at it and we're talented, but we got to work our bloody ass off right. and we got to sacrifice and we got to itch and scratch and claw our way to the top. Like I said before, you know, and you know what, when you're that type of guy and you finally do it, it feels even better. Yeah. Cause you're not exactly going to fucking do it. Anthony, you stupid fuck. You know right. what I mean? So we'll get there. We'll get there. You're going to get there. We'll have, Don't we'll have give one of those up, big shiny gold belts as uh, one of the bits and bobs in the back one of these days. There we go. We'll there we that. go. There we'll we go. That. Well, 
On behalf of everyone, all the believers, we're all so proud of you, Anthony. But Smith's a fucking creep anyway. No way I'm letting him near my kids. Yeah, I'm in. Yuck. Stay away, you fucking creep. Fuck like that. Imagine, like, literally leaving your kids with Anthony Smith. Hey, big subscribe. Hey, big shout out to this guy. Subscribe to Guru the Musical, please. Amazing guy. He has uh, very, very nice coverings. He has very nice song coverings. So, one of the best musicians I've seen in this uh, web on uh, YouTube. Okay, just accentuate your black eye. Shout out Johnny Walker. Let's go!